Here we are all together facing this global challenge. While the experts are trying to figure out an effective treatment or cure, the rest of the population listens. Although we're still learning about COVID-19, there's a widespread theory that points to bats as the potential origins of the virus. But are bats really to blame? Well, let's see what science can say about this. Scientists have described hundreds of different viruses in the coronavirus family so far, including four human coronaviruses, which can cause the common cold. Three of them, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus and SARS Coronavirus 2 are behind some of the new disease outbreaks that happened this century. Coronaviruses can be found in birds as well as in mammals, and very rarely some of these viruses can mutate and jump to humans, causing an infectious disease. In the current pandemic, the virus has rapidly spread among people. There are even cases where it has been transmitted from humans to pets and other animals in captivity. However, the original host of this virus is still a mystery. Like humans, bats are host to a number of different types of coronaviruses. However, none of those known to cause disease to humans, including SARS-CoV-2, have ever been detected in any of the world's 1,400 bat species. Some of them are similar, but have any of them had a role in the current epidemics? To know this, we need to track the evolutionary origin of the current virus. Scientists have compared the sequences of the complete genome of the new virus with other previously known coronaviruses. This showed that the current virus and others some bats carry are similar, but there are still many differences between them. The most similar bat virus found to date and SARS-CoV-2 could have separated from a common ancestor around 40 years ago. Researchers have also analyzed how the virus attaches to human cells. They have found that pangolins have a coronavirus with a membrane structure, similar to the current virus membrane. However, when scientists analyzed its complete genome, the results showed that the pangolin virus is so distant to the present virus that pangolins couldn't have been the recent intermediate hosts. A scientific theory lays out that the current virus could have been present in humans for many years and recently mutated to become more capable of being transmitted. Did the current virus evolve from a bat virus? It's not as easy as it seems to know the evolutionary origin. The most likely link is that both viruses have a common ancestor, but is this really important? Understanding the epidemic origin is what matters more now. So, can bats transmit this virus to humans? At present, the evidence doesn't support this theory. Despite none of the presently known bat coronaviruses having ever directly infected a human, bats still have a poor reputation. Folklore of many cultures associate these mammals with a negative stigma. The fact that they are nocturnal and therefore mysterious means some people fear them. But the truth is that bats are extraordinary animals. When bats fly, their temperature raises to a fever-like level that could be harmful in other mammals. Bats use this to boost their immune system response and ward off the virus despite being infected. All the European bats feed mainly on insects, not blood. Some feed on spiders and one species feeds on fruit. This brings many benefits to humans, like helping to control insects, some of which can damage crops and gardens, and some may even help control insects that can transmit diseases to humans, such as mosquitoes. COVID-19 has always been a human disease, and the host that infected the first human is still unknown. Regardless of the animal that transmitted the virus, culling bats is not the solution and in fact has the potential of making a bad situation worse. If we can change the way we interact with nature, if we stop buying and consuming wildlife, if we preserve their habitats, we will be stopping future pandemics like this. Protecting wildlife is protecting us.